Hello, um, I was reading today Daniel 6. Um, I don't know if I should read the whole thing or maybe I will. Oh, well, it ple this is Daniel chapter 6. Holy Spirit, please help me and guide me. And um, I just wanted to share some points that I was just reading that kind of stood out to me. It pleased da Darius to set over the kingdom 120 satraps to be over the whole kingdom. And over these three governors of whom Daniel was one that the satraps might give account to them so that the king would suffer no loss, okay? Then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and satraps because an excellent spirit was in him. Wow, Lord, let us have an excellent spirit in us. And the king gave uh, thought to setting him over the whole realm. Wow, kind of reminds me of Joseph. Hmm. So the governors and satraps sought to find some charge against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find no charge or fault because he was faithful, nor was there any error or fault found in him. Oh, my Lord Jesus, help us. I have to ask this. So can, so can our, co our uh, jobs, can our bosses say this about us as Christians where we work? Then men said, then these men said, we shall not find any charge against this man, Daniel, unless we find it against him concerning the law of his, of his God. So these governors and satraps thronged before the king and said thus to him, King Darius lived forever. All the governors of the kingdom, the administrators and the satraps, the counselors and the advisors have consulted together to establish a royal statue and to make a firm decree that whoever i don't know why that just blanked out but i'll see if i can keep reading on my bible myself that whoever um whatever or whoever petitions any god or man and go figure any god or man for 30 days except you O king shall be cast into the den of lions now O king establish the decree and sign the writing so that it cannot be changed according to the laws of the Medes and the Persians, which does not alter. Therefore, King Darius signed the. Therefore, King Darius signed the written decree. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went home. Look, look, look at this, man! Oh, man! Pay attention. This stuff happened just recently. And what did everybody do when certain decrees were said? Oh, Lord, help us. And in his upper room, with his windows open toward Jerusalem, he knelt down on his knees three times a day, regardless, just saying, and prayed and gave thanks before his God and was his, as was his custom since early days. So he'd been doing this thanking and praising God three times a day before that decree was done. So after that decree was done, it didn't change. He continued to do it anyway. Then these men, I wasn't even going to say that, but whatever. Then these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before his God. Wow. And they went before the king and spoke concerning the king's decree. Have you not signed a decree that every man who petitions any God or man within 30 days, except you, O king, shall be cast into the dens of the lions? The king answered and said, I'm sorry, this keeps moving. Uh, the thing is true, according to the law of the Medes and the Persians, which does not alter. I'm sure he was saying this with confidence and pride. So they answered and said before the king, that was my opinion, by the way, that Daniel, who is one of the captives from Judah, does not show true regard for you. Oh, king. I'm sorry, because I had to move my thing again, because I can't see through my, my screen, my screen. Uh, so they answered and said before the king that Daniel, who is the one captive from Judah, does not show due regard for you, O king, or for the decree that you have signed, but makes his petition three times a day. Okay, so now they're saying not only that, but he's doing it three times a day. And the king, when he heard these words, was greatly displeased with himself because he finally said, wait a minute, this is my fault. He's thinking to himself, I'm going to make that assumption again. And set his heart, this is what I find so wonderful, on Daniel to deliver, on, set his heart on Daniel to deliver him, to deliver him. And he labored till the going down of the sun to deliver him. So Darius really was trying to help Daniel out 
when he saw what, what his foolishness ended up costing his a person that he really admired and obviously cared for. Then these men approached the king and said to the king, no, o king, that is the law of the Medes and the Persians and no decree or statue which the king establishes may be changed. So the king gave the command. He had to do it. And they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. But the king spoke saying to Daniel, y'all pay attention. Your God, he spoke this, this pagan king, your God, whom you serve continually, he will deliver you. How you know that Daniel served his God continually? How do you, how does he know that? Mm -hmm. Then a stone was brought and laid on the mouth of the den and the king sealed it with his own signet ring and with the signets of his lords that the purpose concerning Daniel might not be changed. Uh, now the king went to his palace. This is another point I want you to see. First, he was trying to deliver him. Didn't work. Now it says uh, he's telling him, he's declaring this to him before he throws him in there himself because he has to do it himself. Your God whom you serve continually, he will deliver you. Now the king went to the palace and spent, this guy went fasting. Oh Lord help us, Jesus. See if we can learn something about fasting with him. Fasting and it says, and no musicians were brought before him and also his sleep went from him. So that means this man was not allowing himself to be entertained, not doing anything. He was just so concerned about Daniel, even his sleep. He couldn't even sleep. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went to haste to the den of lions. And when he came to the den, he cried out with a lament, lamenting voice to Daniel. The king spoke, saying to Daniel, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to deliver you from the lions? Like, can you believe a king saying this? I, I just find this stuff amazing. Then Daniel said to the king, O king, link forever. My God sent his angel that's one, okay, singular, y'all, uh, and shut the, the the lion's mouths so that they had not hurt me because I was found innocent before him. And also, O oh king, I have done no wrong before you. Now the king was exceedingly glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no injury, whatever was found on him, because he believed in his God. And the king gave command and they brought those who, men who had accused Daniel and they cast them into the den of lions, them, their children and their wives. I wonder why they did that. And the lions overpowered them and broke all their bones in pieces before they ever came down to the bottom of the den. Mm. The king Darius wrote this. This right here is something else too. pay attention because this just mm, 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 mm. Oh, Lord, let your name be praised in all the earth. Father God, we praise you to all people, nations and languages that dwell in all the earth. Peace be multiplied to you. I make a decree. This is King Darius that in every dominion of my kingdom, men must tremble and fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God. Leo, for he is the living God and steadfast forever. Let this sit, sink in my heart, Lord, in the name of Jesus. His kingdom is the one which shall not be destroyed and his dominion shall endure till the end, to the end. He delivers and rescues and he works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. Who has delivered Daniel from the power of the lions? So this Daniel prospered in the reign of Darius and in the reign of the, uh, uh, of Cyrus, the Persian. Now, what I wanted to say was, um, they had tricked, um, King Darius, <clears throat> these people who were envious of Daniel because he was just being an honest employee, an employee, because that's what he was. And he was a government employee for people that keep trying to say that Christians are not supposed to be in government, which is whack. But anyway, um, oh, Lord, help us. Um, but um, that these people were tricking the, the, the king. Then um, I find it interesting how the king was trying to deliver uh, Daniel of his own law, of his own decree. He was trying to figure this out. Cause he really, he really liked Daniel 
And then when he saw, I know in this, between some of this time, this man had to know this was my foolishness. I, you know, I can't believe this. I can't take this back, you know, but <clears throat> what I, I just find that it was amazing that he just sat there and told him right before he'd had to throw him in there, your God, whom you serve continually. He knew that God, that Daniel served God continually. And I think that was just a testament of um, Daniel's faithfulness to God and he will deliver you. And this guy is declaring this. Okay. I think that's awesome. Um, and saying, I tried, I was trying, I couldn't deliver you, but your God will our God will. And, um, this part too, about fasting. So I just find that part interesting because of some things that just happened the last couple of days and he was fasting. He wasn't seeing any musicians, um, um, uh, musicians, no, no entertainment. And, and he also went without sleep. I just, wow. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I hope it blesses you. And I hope that um, we can see how faithful Daniel was throughout so many years and how God was faithful to him through so many different times in his life, through different kingdoms. So um, I hope that encourages you and it encourages me. And to remember right here, the king said this, good Lord, I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom, men must tremble and fear before the God of Daniel. For he is the living God and steadfast forever. His kingdom is the one which shall not be destroyed. And his dominion shall endure till the end. He delivers and rescues and he works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. Who has delivered Daniel from the power of the lions. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God, for your word in Jesus' name. And I hope this bless you all. God bless you. Bye.